My job takes me to some unusual places. Today I'm on the banks of a river near Bundaberg in Queensland. I've got no cell service, I've got no internet Wi-Fi, but I'm enjoying lightning fast uploads of a client's video through the Starlink network. But it's not just Starlink. See, everything is running through this waterproof, shockproof case. And even if I move it, the upload continues. <laughs> oh, and hey, you know how I said there was no Wi-Fi signal on the phone? Well, if I just connect to that little floating orange box, all of a sudden I've got Wi-Fi on the phone, I can make calls, I can do voice over the internet, I can do radio over the internet, I can run all my LoRaWAN network for a couple of kilometres, I can run moisture sensors and everything out of that box while I continue the upload. Intrigued? Let's go and find out more about Outback.com. And while we're driving, this thing's going to continue to be connected to the Starlink network. My upload will continue uninterrupted because of the genius under the hood. Let's go and meet this Queensland family just outside of Bundaberg that's making Outback comms not only flawless, but super easy. This is pretty impressive. The upload is continuing. We're currently traveling down a bush track and you can see that we've got foliage overhead. It's interrupting the connection signal slightly, but we've still got over 90% connection and it's the lightning fast Starlink service. So it's much faster than actually what I experience at home. All right, let's meet the family behind the remarkable gear in this little box in this shed in rural Queensland. Jason. How are you going, Tim? Brendan, how are you Tim, guys? Good. So this little shed is where all the magic happens. Yeah, uh, what, 12 months ago, we, this was an empty barn shed and we've turned it into the factory. And now you're a destination for all the big miners, all the big ag guys and all the caravanners who want to stay connected. Yeah. But there's a lot more to your product than that, isn't there? This is not just a box with batteries in it. There's a lot of technology in this. So what I'd love to do is I'd love to find out, Brendan, how to set these things up. Yep. And I'd also love to find out, Jason, just what exactly the capabilities of these things are and what the brains inside this box looks like. Yep. So us punters don't have to pull them apart. No, make it easy for you. I was with the ladies that were putting these things together just before, yep. and um, there's a lot under the hood of this stuff, isn't it? It seems really simple from the outside, but it's actually remarkably capable stuff. Yeah, so there's actually quite a bit of complexity to make the Starlink work. The Mini's really simple, it's just power. It doesn't like 12 volt power in motion, so we've got to boost it. Mm -hmm. um, Gen 3, I'm not gonna go into it because we'll confuse everyone, but it is quite complex on how we make that all work. But you're actually developing chips that will run LoRaWAN networks that will talk to other devices that weren't built for this. You're giving away all my secrets. Oh, I now. am, aren't I? Now tell me about this. This is called the Fusion Chip. Tell so this, this is what we call our Fusion Core, and this is basically a brain. This is a, a computer in itself, yep. and from that we can run all of this stuff. We can feed back to the office. You know, if we're, where our devices are, quad bikes, utes, whatever, um, also tell you if your quad bike falls over. Yeah, so let's get on to that. Let's talk about some of the stuff that you can plug into this computer inside the box and have it safety ready. You've got accelerometers and all sorts of things. Accelerometers, um, you can have GPS chips so we know where it is. Accelerometer will tell you if it's fallen over or stopped suddenly. Um, so I can get an alert on my phone if one of my workers an has an accident. Phone. Yep. Yeah, right. Um, weather station. Lots of cool yeah. stuff. Stuff that's already available. We're just trying to put it in one box for you. And that's the other thing. There's a lot of stuff that's available. There's cattle scales, weather stations, soil moisture monitors. But they've all got their own darned app. They don't talk to each other. They're hard to network and communicate across a large property. And this is the solution potentially to that. And then you've got to have many, many, many logins online to make it useful. So you can bypass all of that. You can bypass a lot of it, yeah. And this chip's coming out very soon. This chip, this chip's out now. We've spent all of this year building this one. Yep. Um, but it's um, coming out of prototyping now. We're actually sending it out for pre-sales for field testing. Yeah, right. And Pretty it's cool. all assembled and made here. Here in Bundaberg. Yeah. That is amazing. And the, I saw the girls were always taking photos of every step. They were recording that against the yep. logs. You've got really good quality control. 
and even in the packing and sending off of the products, you've got a lot of pride, haven't you? Yeah, we love it. And every single unit gets plugged in, we connect it to the stars, make sure it works, communicate, speed test, and then we send it. And I don't have to worry so much about the complexity under the hood because you reckon installation's pretty easy? Oh, it's super easy. Like, we just make it... The reason we call it plug and play, because it is plug and play. Well, I better go see Brendan and find out how to play. Let's go and play. Brendan, how you going, mate? Good, Tim. How are you? Not too bad. You've been on the road a fair bit, I believe. Yes, I've been. Last couple of weeks. Uh, a couple of field days, Henty and, and uh, Dubbo. Yep. So it's been good. Getting out there, showing our product off. And you do a fair bit of install. Yep. So I've come down here to talk to you about how easy to how hard the installs can be, how simple to how complex. Right. And all the different types of systems, because you guys have got quite a few different types yep. of Starlink systems yep. that you can set up and run all sorts of amazing wizardry. Yep. So can you take us through it? Of course. Let's have a look. All right, Brendan, start with simple first. Your dad said the simple kit was probably best for me. Yeah. How can we keep this as simple as possible, mate? This little device here is all you need. So all I need is that little black box. All you need is this black box and some cables. Okay, what do the simple. cables do? Right, power. So you either got a cigarette lighter plug, uh -huh. or you got Anderson if you prefer Anderson. Yep. All you do is plug that into there. Yep. All right. This end goes into this side. So you got another cable. Yep. So you need two cables. You need two one cables. going to the car. Power and in. I assume this one's going to the dish. To the dish, yeah. All okay. you gotta do is plug the other end of that into your dish and you're up and running. And this is a pretty strong cable, so this even is, if you mount your dish externally, that's going to be okay. This is outdoor rated heavy duty cable made specifically for us for this application. Now this is ideal if you're only using your Starlink occasionally with your car, isn't it? This yep. is a good car adapter kit for Starlink. Yep. But if you want to mount it to your vehicle, you've got solutions for that as well. We do, 100%. Right, these are our Starlink Mini Tough Mounts. Now we do a secure, quick release setup. You don't want to magnetize these things. You don't want to use suction caps. There's actually a story of a guy that had some solar panels magnetized to his roof, come off, kill the person behind him, and now he's in prison for it. So we do a secure setup, very easy to take on and off. Uh, it is lockable, so if you're in a dodgy area, you can put a padlock through there, no one's going to steal it. Under your padlock, under your two bolts at the front here. Now these are just finger tight and they never come loose. It's that simple to mount your kit. Your base plate, your bracket, switch it between vehicles or secure it down. If I can get it back on. Things never work when you get a camera in your face. Right, for your average Joe, your Mini, that's all you need. Everywhere you go in Australia, you have phone coverage, internet. Uh, for the person that needs that high-speed data or more reliable connection, we've also got solutions for your, your larger Gen 3 dish. Now, Brendan, if you're ultra handy, there is also the option of building these kits into your vehicle. Is it really yep. hard to do? No, if you're a bit handy, you can install this yourself. Plug and play just like our other one. Mm -hmm. But this just gives you an on-off switch so you can turn on and off and it's more of a permanently mounted setup. Now let's say I was a bit nervous about setting up the whole battery communication yep. Starlink system. You've got fitters as well? Yep, all over Australia, everywhere except for Tasmania. So we are looking for installers in Tasmania actually. We'll vet them and, and train them on how to install these systems correctly. So if there's a qualified auto electrician in Tasmania that can handle mainlanders. We'd love to hear from them. Now Tim, I believe this is the one you tried to drown earlier. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> yep, so this is our portable case. Yeah, okay. So all that system, the boosting setup that we've seen previously, that's all actually built in under here. And it runs okay. off your 18 volt Makita, Milwaukee or DeWalt batteries. So you can choose any of the major brands of batteries yes. and yep. it'll run off there. How long do you get off each battery and how long do you get off the six batteries in total? Uh, standard one five amp hour battery will give you about one and a half to two hours run time. Yep. So all six will give you around 12 hours run time. Yeah, right. So that'll do you full day, no problem at full all. Full day, no problem. You can go a bigger battery and have up to 48 hours, but... Now, a lot of these are going out to the big mining and agriculture and forestry companies yes, at the big, moment. Some big companies because you can just grab it and it's ready to go. All they got to do is turn it on, throw it out, and it's ready to use. And for a couple of grand, I mean, it's... It's insurance, yeah. isn't it? Yep, 100%. Well, Jason, Brendan, thank you so much for having me out here, guys. Thank you, um, you, you are doing an amazing job with your families. 
in building not only a vibrant business in rural Australia, but keeping everyone connected. You've even made an amazing difference to ambulance services in Australia. So it's having a big impact on the rural community. And I just want to wish you all the very best of luck. You're coming out with new products every month. Yep. It's a fast paced industry that you work in and you're probably leading the pack. So uh, I like wish you all the best are, yeah. <laughs> and I'd love to come back and see where you are in six or 12 months time because I reckon you'll be absolutely setting the pace still. Yep. Guys, send this video to someone who you think needs to be a bit more connected. And if you like this kind of video, don't forget to support the channel by hitting the subscribe button, giving it a thumbs up. And there are channel memberships for exclusive previews, sneak peeks and exclusive content. Get onto that as well and I'll see you with something else next week. Cheers, guys. Thank Good you. on you. Yes. That's great. I think I made my point. Right, eh? Off you go. Go and get it. Eh, uh, alright. Things we do.